Before going further, use the Modify Folder Permissions program from the Start menu. Here I have a shortcut on my desktop. As always, you'll be asked for a profile name and a wizard that takes you through the folder permissions. You have three options to analyse, to set the default, or modify the current folder permission settings. I'm going to analyse my permissions firstly. Here you can see I have the default information already populated in my dialog. I'm told of the settings that I've previously set that you saw beforehand in other lessons. And also I can see the report or save it to a certain location. Here is my report. Here you can see that I have a number of warnings, but this doesn't necessarily stop me from functioning with web workflow or start flow. And further down I have a more detailed list of all the privileges to certain folders. Now I am going to use the set web workflow folder missions to defaults and show you what happens. You have the previous same screens which show you what settings you've created. And telling you that it's completed its analysis. It now sets the permissions for the folder hierarchy. And I only have one warning, which is the fact that I have not set up a mailbox for the web workflow guest. Finally, you have an option to modify the current web workflow folder permissions. You will have a list of mailboxes displayed to you which have access to the web workflow root folder. You have the choice of either removing these mailboxes or adding additional mailboxes.